Welcome to Newsroom. Chella Smith here, your Middle East U.S. Entertainment News here on YouTube. I air on Fridays. I bring you the latest on reforms and economics based on reports put out by the Middle East news media outlets. I do this weekly review and it's based off my interest. Thank you everyone who joins me each week. I appreciate all your continued support through your likes, comments, and shares. Those of you who are joining me for the first time, welcome to Newsroom. If you're holding the Iraqi dinar, maybe this channel will be of interest for you. I have an extra extra heater going right now. We're in the middle of an ice storm here in the tri-state. It's extremely cold outside. I hope everyone's staying off the roads and you're in your warm homes. Let's get right into our news headlines. Shabak News reports the first deputy speaker of Iraq's parliament, Hakeem al-Zamili, announced this past Saturday that they expanded a meeting that will be held to check the names of candidates for the presidency, stressing the adoption of data, provisions, and restrictions imposed on each candidate away from all external and internal tendencies, trends, and influences. Some of al-Zamili's office had said that candidates for the presidency, which is to be announced in a few days, providing that the votes of presidential candidates will be officially held during the second session of the fifth session, Parliament on Monday, February 7th, 2022, next week. He explains that during the meeting, which was held in the Parliament's building in the presence of the Minister of High Education and Scientific Research, the, the Chairman of Integrity Commission, the Vice President of Accountability and Justice Commission, the Senior Under Secretary of Ministry of Interior, and the member of Diwania Order, all 26 candidates for positions of President of the Republic in terms of restrictions were discussed and audited and their positions on accountability, justice, academic degree, and their integrity. Al Zamili stressed that the need to adopt documents, certificates, and resumes in a professional and transparent manner and to remove any kind of political pressure that may be exerted on the relevant authorities to prevent them from performing their duties assigned to them, stressing that everyone has placed their full confidence in these authorities by applying professional standards to all candidates on both and in manner difference from what was seen in the past, confirming that the House of Representatives approved all mechanisms, procedures, statement, provisions, and restrictions imposed on each candidate away from all tendencies, trends, desires, and external and ex internal influences. Al Zamidi noted that the changes against the candidates or everything that is raised on social media does not concern them as much as they rely exclusively on the final judiciary decisions against all candidates. Looks like to me they're cleaning house. Economic Alpharet News reports Al Rashid Bank decides to extend the period of selling bonds, buildings for the citizens. In a statement by the bank, which the agency Alpharetti's News receives a copy of, stated that the decision came in conjunction with the continued purchase of the citizens. He explains that the extension period is for two weeks, and Al Rashid says that those bonds are an opportunity for the citizens to invest their money by buying the number he wants in return for the interest he gets back from the bank. This next reading has many importance to the dinar. DIJLAH TV announces on Sunday the Ministry of Industry and Minerals reveal that it has signed with Jordan to establish an economic city, while it revealed that it has received requests from four countries to establish industrial cities in Iraq. The Director General of Industrial Cities, Authorities of Ministry of Industry and Minerals, Hamid Mohammed, said in a statement to official agencies after the assurance of industrial city authorities law number two of 2019 the role of industrial cities authorities was activated during the second half of 2020 noting that the authority it was able to establish industrial cities in all governments he added the establishment of the industrial cities comes due to their importance in providing services and providing job opportunities for young people as well as by passing slums by building industrial cities with services that have been focused on and giving great importance. Therefore, such cities were established in each governorate. He points out that the first agreement for the economic cities was signed by Jordan 
and with procedures were completed for the purpose of declaring it, noting those cities are of great importance, including their geographical location, which is located on the borders in addition to some desert area, which may be loosened in security and will turn into populated areas, populations, production lines, and services to the country. He points out there is a tendency from neighboring countries to build industrial cities in Iraq, and we have received several offers from Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Iran and Kuwait, stressing that the next stage is the stage of industrial cities, which will be very important to support the country's economy. He noted that during the record period, the first contract was signed in Holy Karbala for construction of an industrial city specializing in petrochemicals and engineering with areas of 5,300 acres. Economic Alfred News Rahem Durham reports the current deputy and member of the Finance Committee in the former parliament, Jamar Cougar, revealed Sunday a set of options regarding the 2022 budget, including the dollar exchange rate. Cougar told Euphrates News that we expect to send the budget to the House of Representatives immediately after the formation of the government, noting that there are a number of options presented to it, including to send the budget as prepared by the current government or to make changes in prices, exchange the dollar, or that it is fundamentally changed, Cougar added, or the exchange rate will be kept accordingly to the financial management law 12-1, and this is somewhat unlikely. Baghdad Naz News reports last January, the World Gold Council published its report on the reserves of the central bank in the world of gold. And the data shows that the reserves amounted to 35,571.3 tons of metal. According to the data, total reserves increased by 11 tons in the January 22 report compared to December 21. The United States leads the world in precious metal reserves with 8,000 133.5 tons, followed by Germany with 3,359.1 tons, Italy with 2,451.8 tons, France with 2,436.4 tons, and then Russia with 2,298.5 tons. Gold is a safe haven, especially in times of crisis, as many people tend to buy its hedge against inflation risk. And in the past years, the price price of precious metals has risen in the light of the coronavirus crisis and its consequences. As for the Arab world, Saudi Arabia leads the Arab countries in gold reserves as the kingdom owns 323.1 tons of precious metals, while Iraq ranks fifth according to the first report of the World Gold Council this year. The following is a table showing the rank of Arab countries in the gold reserves based on the World Gold Council reported for for the month of January 2022. Baghdad Naz News reports on Tuesday the second deputy speaker of parliament, Shakwan Abdullah, announced that its technical preparations for holding the presidential election sessions on the 7th of this month have been completed, stressing that the elections of presidency will not be postponed, even for one hour. From its scheduled date, Abdullah added in a statement to his party's official website seen by Naz, February 1, 2022, that the parliament presidency is committed to the constitutional deadlines and it is not linked to political disputes between the competitors, and it is proceeding with the constitutional entitlement after announcing the names of the competitioners and completing the technical preparations for the process. Tellersreport.com reported on Wednesday that the Iraqi legal expert Tariq Herb has died from a heart attack at the age of 77. Herb was a veteran writer and lawyer. He was born in Baghdad in 1945 and he obtained his BA and MA degree in the law of Iraq. Herb worked as an editor and the chief of parliament newspaper and the head of Iraqi's legal culture association and worked as a teacher and in a number of colleges and institutes and has many books. 
Herb was known for his legal and political opinions and analysts as a frequently shown on television stations, media, websites, and here on Newsroom. With the departure of the professor and friend legal expert Tariq Herb, Iraq lost a high legal structure, a bold voice in the truth, and a beloved and honest social personality and a firm Baghdadi imprint. Our deepest condolences to the family of the greatest deceased, his colleagues, his fans, and all their people. Shafak News reports the Iraqi federal court, which is the highest judicial authority in the country, sets on Thursday the required quorum for a number of parliament's members present during the presidential election session. The court concluded with a decision that the House of Representatives elects a president of the republic from among the candidates from the presidency of the republic by a majority of two-thirds of the total number of members of the total parliament and the quorum is achieved in the presence of two-thirds of the total number of members of the total parliament. The decision came in response to a request submitted by the current president, Barham Chalet, to indicate the majority that must be available to start voting on the election of the president of the republic. It is scheduled to hold the parliament session of the elections of the president of the republic next week. Economy News Baghdad reports the governor of the Central Bank of Egypt, Tyreek Amir, confirms his desire to visit Iraq and open branches of Egyptian banks. The governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Tariq Amir, said during his meeting with the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Mustafa Ghalib, that we will have the desire to open branches of Egyptian banks in Iraq as well as approval of opening branches of Iraqi banks in Egypt. Amir added that we want to facilitate the task for Iraq and Egyptian investors. Last but not least, let's take a look at last week's questions and comments. Adam comments, thank you for your updates. What are your thoughts of the price of oil moving this along? Thanks for all you do. Keep up the great work. You rock. To answer your question, Adam, the economy of Iraq is dominated by the oil sector, which has proven about 99.7% of foreign exchange earnings during the modern history times. As of 2021, the oil sector provides about 92% of foreign exchange earnings, which is huge. It has become the third largest economy in the Middle East, but I also believe that there needs to be reforms on oil and gas laws. But I also believe Iraq is forming many new great partnerships in other economic fields with many other country investors as I have been reporting like today the petrochemicals and new construction materials food processing fertilizers and also metal fabrication so I believe we will see Iraq's transformation into a flourishing country in the very near future next Rochelle comments wow I am thoroughly impressed subscribed Thank you so much, Rochelle. It's important to be a subscriber so that way you guys get my early release times and make sure those notifications are turned on in case I see a sudden change with the CBI. Thank you everyone for your awesome comments. I try to bring you guys nothing but facts. That's all for this week's Newsroom Weekly Review, your Middle East U.S. entertainment news on reforms and economics. I try to bring you all the latest in our news without having to keep up with all the different outlets. I'm Chella Smith, Newsroom here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like my content, give me a thumbs up. I will see you next Friday for your next international headlines. Shout out to Currency365 for his continued support. If you want to learn about stocks and cryptos, you can join him and his crew for the most recent updates. You can find him on YouTube or Patreon. The month of February is officially here. I would like to hold a viewers appreciation event here on YouTube. Here's how it works. One, you have to be a subscriber. And two, for each time you comment each Friday in February in the comment section below, your name will be entered into a chance to win a gift from Newsroom starting today. On the last filming Friday in February, I will draw two names at the end of my show. Two winners will be selected. I will have those winners contact me by email only, and I will see that you receive your viewer's appreciation gift from Newsroom. Well, that's it for this week's Newsroom. Thank you everyone who joins me each week. Stay warm, take care. Make sure you join us. 
Fridays, 4 p.m. with Newsroom Updates with Charles Smith Entertainment News.